BBS. BBS. Black Burke Sugar, Bachelor's in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fisher Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do. Read BBS. BBS. This Saturday, December 16th, on The Zone, we got flyweight unification. We got Jesse Bam Rodriguez, WBO flyweight champion, 18 and 0, 11 KOs. We'll be facing Showtime Sonny Edwards from the UK, IBF flyweight champion. 20 and 0 for KOs. They'll be fighting uh, in front of a rabid, bloodthirsty Mexican crowd in Glendale, Arizona. And yeah, the winner will be unified flyweight champion of the world. Bam, man, he's already top 15 or 20 pound for pound and climbing uh, on the strength of his 2022. That was uh, the year he fought uh, Carlos Cuadras, former Mexican Olympian, uh, at super flyweight at 115 pounds. He beat Cuadras for the vacant title, WBC title. His next fight at the same weight he fought was Saksil Wangek, professionally known as Sor Rung Visai, beat Sor Rung Visai. Then he fought Israel Gonzalez later in the year. Moved back down earlier this year to 112 to flyweight and beat Christian Hernandez for the vacant WBO flyweight title. Got his jaw broken in the process. That's why it's uh, been till the end of the year since Bam has fought again. But yeah, he's a uh, solid little fighter, man. I'll do more of a breakdown on him and uh, Sonny Edwards stylistically. In my next video on this subject, which will be before the fight. By the way, I'll be doing a live stream of this fight. Uh, hopefully, YouTube that give me whatever technical snafus there were preventing me doing uh, Dev and Regis. But I'll be making every effort to do a Bam Rodriguez Sonny Edwards live stream for show. But yeah, Sonny Edwards, he's been a uh, IBF champ for over two years now. Two years and counting for successful defenses. He is what Eddie Merchant calls Eddie uh, Merchant. He is what Eddie Hearn calls a wind-up merchant. Thinking too far ahead, Eddie Merchant. He's a wind-up merchant. Sonny, he's very loquacious. He's a British shit talker, just like I love him. And, you know, he's not Tyson Fury, but something about them British shit talkers, man. They 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 <laughs> they really amuse me. They amuse me big time. So. Here's some of Sonny's quotes. I, I'll attempt some uh, some British accents here and there. I chase greatness, not fake unbeaten records. So I'll come in and out of the accent. So he's 27, Sonny is. Bam is 23. And he said, youth, youth is more temperamental. He said you'd come down and fight Sonny Fest in the UK. Never been a question at the end of me fights. You have the footwork to keep up with me. Softball's no problem. That's why I switch. He calls himself the best fence fighter. Like, he doesn't hide or run from his style at all. Sonny Edwards doesn't. Best fence fighter. I'm not even trying to hurt someone. I'm not even trying to hurt someone. Hit someone 15 times, clear as day, and he hits you once. That's how he describes his style. Said I got 12 rounds to put me body of work in. Can't worry about can't worry about three old men sitting ringside. Worried about their opinions and shit of his style. If he can get uh, if he can get a fair decision in front of a Mexican crowd fighting a Mexican fighter. All things that he's openly speaking of. Again, I'll give more of a detailed breakdown stylistically uh, before the fight itself and before the live stream that I do. Yo, team's on eggshells. Yeah, yeah, your sweat session last night. Your bad hand, your broken jaw. 
your red nose and cartwheel away from being a clown. <laughs> I love these British shit talkers. <laughs> like, I could party with these motherfuckers for real. He was talking about Bam uh, being fat and having a broken jaw. And Bam was like, well, damn, you know, you, you had to talk shit all along. You know, on their face-off show, they seem cordial. There's footage of them playing pool together, billiards, snooker, doing all that shit together. And then, yeah, at the uh, final press conference, which was actually Thursday, yeah, Sonny, he uh, he started to dig in verbally a little more, trying to get Bam a little rattled. It didn't work, but started taking some shots. He mentioned Bam's affiliation with Snack. Uh, let's get this Snack shit out of boxing. Think you're a superstar. You're a fucking gimp. <laughs> oh, man, yeah. I could listen to British shit talkers all day. Like, people have their mood music and shit, listening to uh, birds chirping and water waves on the beach. Yeah, give me some British shit talking. I'm straight. I'm scraping the motherfucker. Bam, he's dry as fuck, his personality. Cool, chill, laid back dude, but you can tell he'd much rather fight than talk about fighting. He's dry as a fucking Texas summer. And he, uh, you know, basically would respond to Sonny saying, you're too worried about other shit. I'm a fuck you up. It was really all he had to say. They had the longest stare down I've ever seen in my boxing watching history. Uh, to end their presser, they stared, they stared each other down for like nine fucking minutes, dog. Like I fell asleep, woke up, went to the store, came back, ate dinner, and these motherfuckers were still staring at each other. Like, damn, bro, go, go do something. But yeah, it should be, you know, it will be a very good fight. I'll give a stylistic breakdown in my next video on this topic, and I will do a live stream. Read BBS, BBS, Black Burp Sugar. Bachelor's in Boxing Studies. Television! Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.